always had a need for speed and that willing to do tricks here and there. And those tricks I always did on my bike. I always enjoyed doing them on my motorcycle. So those two combinations just led into a really bad motorcycle accident that led to me losing my leg. As a kid, grew up on a bike. It wasn't like how it is now. We have a lot of skate parks and stuff like that. So, you know, I just did a lot of urban riding, a lot of downtown riding. I um, started riding motorcycles, wow, when I got in high school. That was my first means of transportation. You know, just that whole love of two wheels was just in me. Me riding bicycles and doing tricks, I was like, well, I could do it on my motorcycle. And, you know, I would just go around doing wheelies here and there. One bad accident, doing a wheelie and came down, tank slapper and I hit a guardrail and went into the Hillsborough River. Pretty much pronounced dead on the scene and next thing I know I'm waking up in the hospital hearing that uh, my leg got amputated. So that was the turn of event for me and a humbling experience. After realizing like, wow, you are missing a leg. There are some balance issues here. So having to learn how to walk again and like figure out, you know, who I am, that was the, uh, the start. Cycling became a way for me to get around once I realized with me being so high up as an amputee, just getting on a bicycle made life a little easier for me to, you know, not have something tethered to me and be in so much pain. And the only real pain I feel is pain that I put through myself as far as riding. And it kind of became a, a way of life for me. Like how a person in a normal wheelchair would, this is kind of an easier way. I don't have to worry about having all this wheelchair adaptive stuff. and. I can just go to your local bike shop and get all the accessories I need to just get my bike everywhere and kind of created something for me. Like, well, I can kind of do whatever I want to do without even having, you know, the need for help from anybody. The whole clipping in thing is what kind of got me into riding, especially riding the fix. It was just so simple. You only have one gear, direct drive. So everything's going to help you move. Fixed gear helped me out even more so than any other one person. It was just mind blowing for me. And I was like, wow, I don't need to have all these gears. I don't even need brakes. I can just get on and ride, even with a regular shoe. It really showed me a lot and just showing other people. And they see me like, man, you ride this bike, one leg, clipped in, fixed gear, no brakes. I'm like, well, how do you, like, it's actually simpler than what you think. For me, it's that's a way of life. This is my wheelchair. I was in Denver for about a month and happened to see the Denver Cruise, which was a really big bike ride. So I had to come back home. I was like, man, there has to be a ride like that here in Florida. So I kept seeing these groups. I'm like, what is this? This is kind of like what I've been looking for. Started doing those rides and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. So kind of got into that. So it went from like just stunting around on a little BMX bike or a little mountain bike to riding a single speed and just that transition from going from single speed to fixed gear. It was a lot, but it taught me a lot of control, taught me some patience. I realized that you can actually race on these and just digging into research, got a hold of this coach. He told me that, yeah, you could actually race on something like that. And I just went full fledged, just full on tacking and doing track racing and making it a thing for myself. Realized they had some events for Paralympic guys that, you know, you could ride your bike. And I was like, oh, that's what I want to do. That whole enclosed course, just of going fast, it's exerting, it's a challenge for me. Me being beaten by something, it just makes me want to like improve myself and it's a sense of freedom for me. It's just taking me places and that I, I didn't think I would be seeing right now. That was a big surprise. Thanks, guys. Thanks, uh the people that I, I met, get to see them again, it's like, wow, you know, it's like having that friend that's miles away, that almost like a little mini family to where, you know, you can go out and enjoy yourself and ride fast and ride, ride hard. When I first came back to Tampa, but actually here to move to stay, I just created a ride every Wednesday called Wolfpack Wednesday, and all bikes are welcome and just want to just get out and ride and not have to be in a professional area. It can be a bit intimidating, but I always tell people that, you know, I will wait for you and you will know where you're going. Riding has always made me not want to give up just because I'm always in my happy place. I don't want to quit. I just can't give up. 
You know, I see someone either toot the horn, throw their arm out, kind of root me on. So it's kind of a mind blowing to them just seeing someone one leg, let alone kind of keeping up with them in traffic and they're in their car. It just kind of amazes them. It's enjoyable, you know, knowing that I'm inspiring the people and I might have just changed that one person's mindset on life just by riding to work. It makes me not want to quit. It makes me just want to keep going, just look for more avenues, more doors to just keep motivating people. My accident was a sad thing, but it was that curse kind of turned into a gift for me. Wanting to see my kids grow up and live a legacy with that really has pushed me to be the cycling athlete that I am now and try to succeed and, you know, try to give these two-legged guys a little run for their money.